Wolfgang. You know, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascensions. And today I have Shaman Dallas here with me. You know, we, we, we are talking about gin, you know, how to clear gin, getting rid of gin for healers and normal people. It's a big, big, big thing. You know, I have clients being in agony, you know, being harassed by these spirits. And so it's a really important knowledge that we like to bring through here. You know, and uh, Dallas is going to introduce herself now. You know, so please go ahead. When I was working as a shaman, I became very clear on who I was. I'm an Incan trained shaman. I have been a Mesa holder for over seven years. I really think that if you're a shaman, you really do have a responsibility to know who you are and to work as a hollow bone because you know that if you're a shaman, that you are supposed to help other people and not only other people, but yourself. I work through many energies, but the main one that I have connected with today is Goddess Hathor. Goddess Hathor is, a, is an, an Egyptian goddess and she is very, very kind and she is considered the mother. She's an aspect of Isis and she is very, very loving and she is very, very strong in the heart of humans. She comes through as animals. She comes through as bugs and snakes and trees. And she comes through as everything that you can think of because even food is part of love. And food is something that we always have to think about. And as a shaman, I have learned throughout my trainings how things can attach to you and things that we do not wish for can also be very detrimental to our health. As a shaman, I have trained with a beautiful teacher. She has taught me how to walk with Mother Earth and use Mother Earth because as shamans, we use everything on the earth. I am going to tell you a little bit about how I got to where I'm at. And then Solomon, King Solomon is a guide that I came across two years ago and actually all my life he's been there I just didn't even I didn't realize that he was there I just saw this man and he looked like Moses and it kind of looks like him and so anyway he comes through and um but he he he's guided me through things that have been difficult to remove gin is one thing that we have and it's something that I think healers and people need to know that is out there um with Solomon he is instrumental in helping healers in performing rituals on how to remove gin. Gin is something that is different than just your basic negative energy. We remove negative energies and Wolfgang is a wonderful person at doing that. He's a wonderful healer. He's a wonderful ascended master. And my first experience with Wolfgang was epic. He took me back into a lifetime that I didn't know about and he helped me close portals. He helped me get rid of all kinds of things because I was struggling with some, some portals that were in my energy. With that, Wolfgang helped me and I had several sessions with him and then I had an opening where my gifts just became bigger and that was something that I wished for and they, they did. So um, I'm very happy to be here and I'm very happy to talk about Jen and actually Solomon will come through because it comes through spirit and Solomon will explain. And, and I believe Wolfgang has questions. And as far as introducing myself, I've been a teacher for years. I've taught college. Um, I'm a healer. I've worked with children. I've worked with a lot of populations. I'm a counselor. Um, again, I'm a full Mesa carrier, so I carry my Mesa everywhere because that is who I am. A Mesa carrier is something that is known as a medicine bundle. This medicine bundle goes with me everywhere because I work with it. It's full of rocks. And maybe in another session, we can talk about things about a Mesa carrier and what a shaman is. Um, you can always leave your comments below on what questions you have. 
Um, but it's something that that I hold true to my heart. And when when I, when I became trained, it it just fit. It's like okay, I get this. I get this. Um, I'm a mother. I'm a wife. And my experience is that I've had gifts all my life, but it was once that I became a shaman that I got to use them and help heal others. So that is me. Um, I'm Shaman Dallas. And I guess we can continue because I feel Solomon coming in and he's ready to help. And Goddess Hathor is always of assistance as well as spirit because she's always here with me. She's one of one of my wonderful, wonderful helpers. Her energy is beautiful. She she cries with me. She loves with me as well as spirit, as well as Isis and and Mother Mary and Archangel Michael and all of the helpers that we have out there that are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful angels. So I'm going to leave it up to Wolfgang and we'll get started. All right. We just ask that everything that comes from this and what happens in and from this, you know, channeling is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. You know, we ask that whatever resonates with you, you know, that you, of course, accept this for your highest good on it. We ask that none of this information can be misused and abused in any way, you know, for service to self or to hurt other people. And so it is. Amen. 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 Okay, here he is. Let's give a source love tester. Yeah, it's there. Solomon is a, he, he has quite the sense of humor too. Yeah, you know, you feel his echo, so that's the tester. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Solomon, please go ahead. Nice to meet you. Hello, hello. How are you today, Wolfgang? Anything better be hard to do. <laughs> Well, we have been thinking about the gin energy, and if you have questions, and I have answers, because there is a step-by-step -step procedure of getting rid of it. It's a little bit different than other types of energy. Mm -hmm. um, so oh, go ahead. I mean, so first question is, of course, um, you know, please describe how gins affect the energies you know of human in the human world as well as of the animal world and plant world you know so we get an idea you know what are we talking about okay jinn energy is middle eastern it comes from a seance it also affects the human anatomy it can affect the animal anatomy and plant anatomy it will continue to grow if it is not stopped because it is a magic that comes through prayer. Mm. Prayer can be anything that is dark because jinn will attach to the darkness. Jinn is also part of the human anatomy because if you get headaches and you get um, the heaviness on your arms and you get that that feeling in your chest that you just cannot breathe and those negative thoughts that you hate and that that it's just horrible and all of a sudden you're like, I just can't stand that person. And a person who is very sensitive to energies will really feel it as far as healers. We are sensitive and we move with Mother Earth. We move with this. We come across this energy and all of a sudden, whoa, that's big. And it is big. All energies are big, but gin is a specific type of energy that affects every part of every species on this planet. Let me make sure that I understood properly and let me say in my own words, you know, and then you correct me if necessary. So it looks like um, jinns are a created thought form, you know, through prayer, through magic, through focused you know, visualization, symbols, etc. It's a created thought form, um, most likely, you know, for the dark, it seems, you know, when it, um, and they have been created by humans or other beings, you know, and so according, they're like a machine, 
that affects you know different beings you know affects other yantras machines bodies and um, so if there is a growth mantra you know a growth thing in there you know a program it will expand is that correct mm -hmm. so it these is, are like computer viruses in a way it is that, exactly um, like a computer virus it is it is like a um Jin is a thought form that is created and it's usually in a group of people because that's the strength of the group. One person can do it. And if you think of black magic, think of gin, because gin magic is horrible and it is also considered a magic in a seance because in the past, people have used gin to harm people. They have used gin to um, gain wealth, to gain power, to gain ego. And gin plays into that. So if you figure, Okay, we have a seance with black magic around a fire. Zhu, 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 zhu. And that intention is to hurt somebody or to get that energy out there. Well, Jin will come in too with black magic. Zhu, 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 zhu. And no, so. Ajin, yeah. And so. Are Jin's so, but they are like thought forms, machines in a yes. way, programs, you know, do they have consciousness or a soul as such? Well, let me say okay. one thing. One thing first, Jin works with demonic energies and the demonic entities. Mm -hmm. Very well. Jin also work with greys. Greys will bring them in. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And humans. Okay. Sure. Jin can become a thought form. And then Jin can become a entity through that thought form. So if you see a djinn, you can say, that looks like a demon, because that demon thought form comes together, and then all of a sudden, you have a demon attached to you that has djinn energy that is demonic. Mm -hmm. So like a, in my mind, a demon actually has a soul. You know, it's a conscious, you know, aspects of source, this awareness and so on, and free will to a certain degree. Now, um, a demon might just like a negative thought forms and piggyback this to mm -hmm. him, you know, to enhance like my Kung Fu program, you know, my Great Chaos a, program. I have a <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know, you, here. Can toss, you know, like right. weapons, you know, and so, hand grenades, you know. So these are, you know, the demons and Jin there work together. Is that correct? They work very well together. And another analogy is if you take a totem pole and you have the levels of the totem pole and you start at the bottom and the bottom is Mother Earth and the top is heaven above. Well, we take that away and we place a demon there. And the djinn is going to go up levels on this demon. Boom, 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 until it reaches to the point that it is part demon too. So if you're in prayer and you bring in djinn energy, whether you know what it is or not, because it's created in the Middle East many, many, many thousands of years ago, then you are bringing that gin in too. And it comes in and it starts to get attached to things around you. You get attached to the land, it gets attached to the trees, it gets attached to everything. And so when you're clearing gin, there's a step by step because you have to trap it. Okay, so the gin seems to be having tentacles. You know, like vampiristic tentacles, you know, like many vampires, not just teeth, you know, or the yeah. arms, you know. And everywhere. the last things that come by just... Shoo, right. Shoo. And suck you in, suck your energy. So, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> what you said in Middle Eastern, I mean, come on, you know, I mean, dark magic, dark forms have been, you know, done since Atlantis and before oh, this. Yes. You know, so, I mean... Everywhere on Mother Earth since the beginning right. of time. So it's just a, the name Jin is a Middle Eastern concept. Yes. You know? That's a concept. So it Atlantis had it. Um, Lemuria had it. It was it was huge in in the wars in Lemuria. Um, Egyptians they faltered with it. Um, we go back to the beginning of time and the beginning of of energies. Um, it, it's been it's been around. It's a very old energy. It's a very could you call those weapons that were used in the Vedas, for instance, you know, the Brahmasters, you know, the um, different verbal weapons, Sudas and Shakas, could they be considered jinns, you know, thought forms, you know, weaponized thought forms with a low program? Would this be a jinn energy as such? 
it, it would. Yes, it would because that's the intention of those arrows, and and that's the magic that they're putting on them. So, shunk, there you go. Then there's your portal to that energy. So, it's 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 been around so so long, and it's something that people aren't aware of a lot because it is a Middle Eastern name, Jin. Well, demonic Pusamalakte is. Is there an equivalent, you know, in the Western or let's say Hindu cultures, you know, that would, um, you know, um, bridge that, you know, cliff in understanding? Yes, yes, and it's it's um another analogy that Jin can do is that when healers are working on other healers and they don't understand the protective measures they have to take on their energy and how they need to hold space for each other and how they need to open up to each other on what gifts they have and what they can contribute to each other's healing. It's also the same way if you have a client that you're working on and you're in session and you come across gin energy. If the healer is not protected, then of course the gin energy is going to come onto that healer that quick. It's as quick as the demonic entity wraps its tentacles and cords around you. So the gin energy is on top of the demonic. So a healer says, okay, I feel this. I'm going to get rid of this demon, this demonic. And then they don't realize the gin is still there. Yeah, I would call that baggage. <laughs> yeah, the, the gin baggage. is still there and it's, and it's, not, it's on their time. They could be feeling that negative energy. And the negative energy on the client is demonic. Well, they pull that demonic off and then there's that negative energy. It's like, what is this? Because you have to call gin, gin, demonic, demonic. You know, if you're having things of other cultures bringing in negative entities or negative beings, for instance, then you have to call the negative being by its name. That's the thing. We have to be so specific with getting rid of this. And when you think of how I spoke about the grays coming in and bringing it and using it, they use it for their own source of pleasure along with demons. Mm -hmm. So well, you take that. That and creates synthetic things, right? <laughs> yes, it, it creates a huger thing because then you're working with the different species on the planet Earth, which are grays. And we think about other species that come, but the greys are the ones that really, really buy into this. And so that's one thing, that if you get rid of the greys and you get rid of the demonics, then you get rid of the djinn. There's a way to get rid of the djinn as you would a past life portal, as you do in your videos, which are wonderful for people because they understand that that happens when there's trauma. We They understand that. And... So it's it's the same concept. So when you look at Jin, it's actually part of another another ritual that you take away. Mm -hmm. It's another okay. way to take away. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we know, you know, that um, uh, you know, on ourselves, you know, that we affected by Jin or, or our clients? What are the telltale signs? And I'm not mean Jin drunk, you know. In the program genes, of course. How do we know? How do we know how the client? Yeah, the that, what are the telltale signs? You know, hey, we got a gene infection here. You know, so what are the typical signs? One of the typical signs, and I can list them. The number one sign that you have gene energy attached to you is your thought process. It starts to be negative and it starts to be hateful. That's the number one sign. Once you fall into that, you know something's wrong. Then if you go into the next telltale sign, you'll start to feel heaviness and your heart rate goes up. And also, if you have people around you, they start to almost shy away from you. Mm -hmm. They will they will stay away from you if it's a if it's an animal, the, the animal will pick up on it right away. That is gen energy. Number three your relationships will start to falter. Your work will start to fail. Your 
house will start to get dirty may also get, <laughs> you may also get to where you will start hoarding things to fix it and you will also start to dress differently mm -hmm. you will be wearing things that you've never worn before you will be wearing crystals that you've never worn if you do have crystals you will be saying things that you never say you will be thinking with ego, thinking that's exactly me, that's right, I'm, I'm right, so it plays into ego. And also, you will start to feel that you can't sleep, but you're asleep, but you'll wake up tired. And you'll continue, can, and, and you, you will also try to find ways to sleep with medications. Mm -hmm. You'll start to think about what can I go into a deep sleep with because I'm not rested. So I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm going to get a medication to help me sleep because the gin is all over you. It's all over your bed and it's in your house now because it's got tentacles and it's almost like a shapeshifter. It's going to everywhere. Running thought loops, etc. Mm -hmm. you know, they're attached to your gallbladder meridians you know, yes. at the side of the head, you know, and create thought loops. You know? So if you're stuck on a thought loop, that would also be, you know, one of those. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly it. And so other people will start mentioning it. Mentioning it. They may say that you've changed. Mm -hmm. um, you may s seek out counseling. You may seek out a doctor. You may um, seek out a preacher. Um, because deep down, you know something's wrong. Because your heart knows. And in your videos, which I love, and Dallas loves them too, and Dallas is here, um, I'm, just, I, I, I'm just relaying what Solomon is saying. Solomon is, is not me. So yeah, yeah, no, it's important. I just, I'm just relaying what he says because he's the one that you, you work through spirit, and Solomon is he's the one that we're using. So, um, yeah, and so the videos of opening up your heart chakra and the things that that Wolfgang does is wonderful to get people to understand that the love. Um, of their heart and how they can connect with spirit and how they can connect with with their high self and how they can connect with with spirit spirit it's it's your spirit it's your heart and so you start to do that and then Wolfgang starts to do his healings and he clears the energies and things and you start to feel better um, so there are videos that Wolfgang has about opening up your heart and loving your heart and working on relationships and past lives and things that we've seen on on YouTube. So with Jen, it's the same thing. It's it's a video that needs to be put out there to say, hey, this is something that we can get rid of and we can go step by step and I'll give you exactly step by step. And if it fits, it fits. If it fits with you, it fits with you because you are your own person. You have free will. And free will will always be yours. And it's it's wonderful to have free will. So we give you tools and I give you tools and it's ways that I know um, to get rid of gin. And it's a very simple way and a step-by-step. -step. And once you get it and you come across that energy or you feel that and you understand that it's that simple to get rid of, then you just get rid of it. You know, That's you keep, keep your energy up. So we can still call the tools for ascension by Wolfgang and not by Solomon. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for ascension by Wolfgang, it's it's his channel and it's not my channel. It's something that that it's a tool that we can use. It's it's a we explain it as you have your bag, your, your your tools you use as a healer. You use them to help people and and you work through spirits. You work through your heart and and. You know, you, you've, you've been through a lot and you know that, hey, this stuff is out there. And oh, yeah. by golly, I know. <laughs> now, how they're different than ghosts. You know? I mean, I deal with ghosts left and right, you know, and sometimes it seems like those gin, you know, they camouflage as ghosts. You know? So how can a healer distinguish between ghost and gin? This is just by asking the high self or how do we know? Well, this is, um, it's, it's a question Jinn can also attach to um, discarnate that have not crossed over because oh, yeah. they can have that. Um, and they can also, you can mistake it as a ghost because they're, they're as though they're a shapeshifter. They're as though they, 
there are those that think that they see the shapeshifter or they see the ghost, which is right. We see the ghost, okay, you need to move on. Okay, we see the shapeshifter. Did I, wait, did I get that? Okay, um, mm -hmm. a lot of people use a pendulum. I use a pendulum. You know, we check to see, you know, if that's what it is. Um, make sure your pendulum is yours and you love it and, um, you know, I, I have them. So, um, so, so you, you, you find out how, I guess, this is Solomon, you would find out how the ghost is attached to the gin, and then you get rid of the ghost, but just understand the gin is right there too, and it's going, well, I look like a ghost too. I'm going to stick around because you think I'm a ghost, so I'm going to move over here and here, and maybe you have the gift of sight, you're seeing it, or the feeling, or the he you know you hear it, or you're like, mm -hmm. wait, maybe is there two ghosts? Yeah, these are the ghosts you can't get rid of. These are gin, yeah. I guess. It's not going to cross over the Rainbow Bridge <laughs> or whatever you use. I mean, that's just a, a tool that people use, whatever you use. Um, so it's it's to to understand that it's something to put in your 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 bag of you know your tools. That okay, I'm checking for all this. Well, check for gin. Yeah, right. That's check to see if it's there. You know, go through your your what you do and how you do it and check for gin and and yeah. we'll give you a way to clear it and and like no that's that's what i do i mean you know are there ghosts in there are there portals you know i mean and so you know is there gin are there gin involved definitely a good good point very good point yeah. now um, are there different kingdoms of gin you know where you have different classification the gin are like um Jinn is also part of a kingdom. A kingdom also has different levels in that kingdom. Mm -hmm. You have different levels of peasants and you also have the king. So mm -hmm. a jinn can also be part of a peasant and run through the whole crowd. And you have parishioners, you have people there in your kingdom that it's running through. Mm -hmm. And then you have the next level of your kingdom because the king has to have protection. The king likes protection, the queen likes protection, and they have their court. And if they have their court, that would be right under the king or the queen, right? So then if you have under the king and queen, you would have your helpers that help you dress and things underneath there. And it keeps going down and down through the bottom of the kingdom. The jinn starts anywhere on that kingdom. So if we start at a level on that kingdom, then the level can either go down or up because the king has the right to say no. The king can say, I'm going to feed my people or I'm not going to feed my people. But if it's in the crowd of the people and they're worshiping the king, then the king is going to say, well, now, if we go to war, then let's do this because we have arrows and we have knives and we have. We have all of this technology that we have created to beat that other enemy. Well, let's put Jin in there. And Jin's going to say, okay, here we go. Dip those arrows in that Jin. There it is. Right. So they amplify negative thought forms. So they can um, attack at any level of a system, of a social system, you know, whether it's individually or as a group, you know, again, like a virus, I would say, like a social virus, etc. You know, very, very, just, very interesting. Very, very, I've always thought that genes were spirits, you know, and that's a completely different thing. You know, gin in, in the concept of programs, of computer programs, you know, it's similar to the matrix. You know, you have Mr. Smith coming through. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yes. very similar. You know, it's a good analogy, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and think of it as every every peasant that has a gin attached to them would be considered a spirit of negativity. Mm-hmm. So it would punish. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the king. okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> now uh, uh, statistics. You know, Solomon, I think you have access to human statistics, right? From your point of view. Okay. So you have about eight billion, you know, humans supposed to be incarnated on this. 
Mm -hmm. So how many percentage of the humanity is actually affected by gin? I would say around 65 percent. So 35 percent are not affected by gin. That's a pretty good thing. You know? That's yeah, pretty it, good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it's a yes, and I and 65 percent is a good number because it can go up and down in times. Sure. You know, yeah. in times of, of of struggles and things that we've gone through history, um, in war it can be very heavy. Right. Um, it can be very detrimental to the soldier who gets hit by Jan, um, well, just an analogy. So I would assume that, let's just look at the strength, you know, and the weaknesses of the gin. You know, so when there are high vibration, high thought forms around a high vibration, I think the gin will have a hard time to manifest, right? But then the more depressed and the more debased and lower the vibration, you know, the easier the gin have to get in. Is that correct? It is absolutely correct. And in your videos for Tools of Ascension, you also speak about, you know, the high vibration and having a high vibration and the negative energies that can attach to you, um, the negative beings that you um, get rid of and that you've taught people to get rid of. Um, the depression and gin is very big. If a person is depressed, um, gin can attach to the depression. Anxiety um, is another one. PTSD, any of those things that we have that, that that have been diagnosed, whether you are borderline or schizophrenic, or if you are uh, bipolar, um, some of those things, and, and you have that depressive state that you started with, and I'm not labeling anybody, I, I want you to know that, um, that I'm a counselor too, um, <laughs> and I work with Solomon, but it's, you know, I know a little bit about that, I'm a licensed therapist, so, um, and we take that into consideration as being a shaman too. You know, we look at, you know, um, the the mental health issue part of it. So if you're depressed and you stay in that depressive state, then it's gonna come in and it's gonna come in hard because it's just gonna feed off your depression. And if it starts as a, as a small thought form, as we thought of with um, people who, like Wolfgang was saying how you know, the thought form can start small and then it just gets bigger, like the computer virus can just be on one computer, then it goes to the next one, then it goes to the next one, then it gets bigger and bigger, then uh, then there's the gin, and then, okay, I'm never gonna get help, you know? And, and if you look at suicides, which I have worked a lot with suicide, and I used to do suicide prevention with kids and, and communities, um, and I've worked with and had people who have taken their life and it's hard um they get in that depressive state and um is gin involved is that negative energy involved is it telling you things that are horrible and that's the thing if you have those thoughts that it's not right and we're talking about gin then then you need to that it's different it's just different yeah, actually, at the cutting edge of um, psychotherapy, you know, I mean, the, the ones that um, see outside the box, you know, they know that schizophrenic or many of the schizophrenic, you know, it's not just illusion, you know, fantasy, you know, it's there is an intelligence behind those beings that they're talking with, you know, and they uh, see them as discarnates. You know, and, and it's definitely a way to go about it and you can be successful to a certain degree but I think the missing element you know with so-called schizophrenia is gin. Yes it, gins, it, it is it is and I think you know mm. we, we miss that we miss that as as therapists we miss that as counselors we miss that as healers or you know again it's 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 a part of it's a part of knowing your heart and knowing that that, that something is different, something's different with my loved one, they're acting differently. And so you take him to Wolfgang and he says it's gin energy, or you take him to a shaman and shaman says, uh, yeah, that's that's gin, that's this, we're gonna get rid of all of this and then, you know, and collaborate with, you know, what if they have a counselor or, you know, say, hey, you know, you're gonna be you, your free will, I have given you this. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So let's study the enemy a little bit more. 
Okay. You know? So um, other times, you know, where gin, you know, are very strong. This could be midnight, you know, or maybe high noon or eclipses or in bars. You know, I mean, there must be environments, you know, where like, ooh, don't do that, don't go there, don't do that. You know, and then there are environments that are kind of safe. You know, where like, I don't know, you know, you have maybe incense around you or, you know, crystal energy or you have Gregorian chants or again, you know, to certain astrological conjunctions, please. Good question. Um, this is coming from Solomon. Um, the most potent time for Jen in history is at midnight. Mm -hmm. The most potent time for Jen to go away is when the sun comes up. Mm. Because if you think about Jen, it loves the darkness mm -hmm. and the sun is cleansing. The sun will cleanse anything. So in history, potency is at midnight, midnight to 3 a.m. And if you have your crystals, if you use crystals, tourmaline is wonderful. Selenite is wonderful. <laughs> Amethyst is wonderful. Rose quartz is wonderful. Any crystal that you love so much that you think is wonderful is wonderful because you put your love into it. Love your crystals. Love them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> love them. Love them, Wolfgang. Love them. <laughs> and and, and, and in places in the country or on Mother Earth, there are places that have very good energy and there are places that don't. Um, in history, gin was always part of a place where has a lot of disease, has a lot of famine, has a lot of pain, has a lot of discarnate, has a lot of grays and has a lot of negative energies that are coming through Mother Earth like portals. Mm -hmm. The underground portals that we work with and the underground things that, that comes up that we don't realize because we can close a portal and um, click that energy, but it's an underground portal. You think you have it closed and it's not closed, but that's in history. So you think of, you know, go back into your history books or, um, your past life regressions you do with Wolfgang. Um, you know, I've done past lives. This Dallas, I've done past lives, of course, with Wolfgang and also with my shaman teacher, who was very wonderful. Um, so, so you think of that, and 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 in war, it's there. Um, but you think about the Black Plague. Think of that as a gin. Gin and grace. Gin and grace. And, and you vampires. Think plague. And, vampires. and in history, when people were dying of plagues, a lot of grays and a lot of black magic and gin. Bloodletting, bloodletting and mercury. You know, mercury like grays is like aluminum foil in the air. You know? <laughs> in yeah. chemtrails. You know? And uh, the bloodletting for vampirism. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so it's, you know, you can look back and look at those times when things were really horrible. People are dying left and right because of a plague or because of, you know, whatever's those times, you know, those times in history, as we call it as a shaman, and we take those times in history and we take them out. Right. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, the, how about the moon cycles? Uh, full moons, new moons, you know, and in between. So how does that affect you? This is Solomon. So full moons are always bad for Jin. They don't like full moons. They like the new moon. Okay, they like the cycle of the new moon. The full moon, the energy of the full moon is hard for them to deal with because of the energy of the moon and the, and, and the earth goddess Gaia. Okay, mm -hmm. if you take the full moons in Saturn and you take all of the planets and they line up just right, as they do sometimes, 
and the full moons in Saturn and their moons, because the Saturn rings are part of that energy that comes through, and you get it just right, then the gin can't move. Because the gin can't feel that that negativity because it's too it's too beautiful. Mm. It's too beautiful. It's too much of spirit. It's too much of wow, feel that. It's feel no time to take them out, no? <laughs> yeah. Get your crystals out there. You know, and everybody's got some crystals out and everybody's doing their thing and and even in times in history, you know, you think of, of moon cycles and you think of, you know, how the earth rotates and with the planets and the planetary system and how it affects earth goddess Gaia and the energies and everything, you take everything into account and the solar flares and all, then the djinn doesn't like anything positive because people look at full moons as positive. Okay, so this could be then go back in time, you know, and to clear all those times, you know, Black Plague and other, you know, we, we kind of through history, they're mm -hmm. very quite accurate about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Yeah. You know, go back and clear the gin from those times. Is that yeah. you know something that can be done and then help Gaia uplift? Help Gaia, you know, raise the vibration. Um, you know, it's and this is, of course is Solomon. Um, we look at the cycles of the moon, and we look at them as healers because we have our crystals and we have things that we work with, and we really watch the cycles of the moon and how the Earth rotates and how we hear the earth goddess Gaia and her heartbeat and how beautiful that is and and how it it can clear you lay on you lay on earth goddess Gaia you can feel her um, a lot of people I think um, I guess if you go back in history then you would see when people were very high and high in energy and things were very good and that gin doesn't have any place to go because people knew how to get rid of it. So we get rid of it. Um, now we have healers that, you know, as, as you, you know, we go back. We go back and get rid of that. We go back and get rid of it because you were part of that play or you were part of this or your family was or, what, you know, whatever, you, you know, whatever it is. And so then the cycles of the moon, if you're waning, then the gin starts to go, comes forward. And then it comes into the new moon and there's darkness and then we go the other way and then the gin kind of backs up. So if you're a healer, you can do that. It's, it's, it's a way of watching the cycle of the moon and go, okay, why is my clients coming in with all of this stuff? All of this stuff. And then all of a sudden, here's that energy and is it a spirit? Is it a demonic? Is it a gray? Is it reptilian? Is it satanic? Is it any of those things? And understand that, okay, it's that. And then the energy of the healer starts to go with that too. Okay. It's like the full moon, <laughs> you know, whoa, it's cool. When I was living in community, you know, we knew on the full moon, all the crazies, you know, going to be up and out. You know, and so we had extra, you know, people on guard duty, you know, keeping everything smooth. You know, I mean, we knew. You know. So somehow um, there is uh, at full moon there is a good idea. It's good to purge, right? They come, yeah. they're weak, you know, and we can call them out and, and mess them. Yeah, um, and even if, if they're there during the the full moon and you have your clients, you're going to get rid of them, or if you're going to, you know, you're working and. And, you know, you see that and, and you get rid of it. It's just that's kind of how that energy is moving because Earth Goddess Guy is working with the moon so well. Sure she, loves, she loves Grandpa's moon. Now, I have some more questions. And this is, I mean, Solomon, you have a great rap, you know, of having built a temple, better. you know, of the temple of Jerusalem. You know, uh, lots of trouble there, unfortunately. You know, probably due to gin, let's play blame the gins for it, but you also um, have the reputation of having forced gin or controlled gin to build this in record time, you know, so somehow they can be used in an ad for an advantage, you know, would you mind to explain what really happened so, you know, we can separate, you know, and speculation, <laughs> you know, from the facts, you know, this is, this is, okay, Solomon, we, we really have to look at gin as a building block. 
So we look at it that way. And I like to give analogies because if you look at the temple of Jerusalem and how it was built, it was building blocks that built up, built up, built up. Um, in those times, gin was a part of that. So people used gin to help the other people work for them for free. Oh, volunteer slavery. Yes, for slavery. So we use that in slavery because that is the structure of the temple. Because the structure of the temple has to have people work on it. And if you have anything that is gin and you're using gin and you're using it knowingly or unknowingly, then you are using it for slavery. And you're using it for people that in those times did not have the protection of love. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I would speculate there here now, right now, because it was, you know, an abuse of free will. That's why the temple got torn down. You know, there was nothing good coming from a diseased tree. Is that correct? That is correct. Because if when, when the jinn is there, and the jinn is, is negative, and you have grays, you have demonics, you have that. We've had that through time and history. Mm -hmm. Then you look at something that's being torn down because it was wrong, because I'm going to tell you it is wrong, and I'm going to use my ego, I'm going to use my free will, and I'm going to use whatever, and use jinn to tear it down. Because then it's gone, and it's no longer there. Yeah, you probably should clean that up too, right? <laughs> would be that. <laughs> and the you know, people know what's going on now, you know? I mean, by gin and by free will. You, it's, um, it, it's tough in times in history because free will is free will. And we all have free will to do what we do. So I kind of... You know, kind of feel guided that those there are probably a lot of you know beings that worked on the temple of Jerusalem that were jinn controlled and they're traumatized and they're stuck on the lower astral. Is that correct? There are several. You know, there hundreds or thousands, thousands. There, are, there are thousands. There are thousands. and they're mm -hmm. yeah, they need help. They need mm -hmm. help. And they're pretty pissed, right? Yes, they are very upset. They are very angry. Um, it's something that that throughout history, those beings, I think, just got squashed. Yeah, yeah. You know, squashed. All the, all the big projects, I think, you know, that was, you know, giving them a weak foundation. So I think let's correct that, you know, yeah. and then, I mean, probably the gyms involved big time, you know, so. Oh, yes, yes. And you gyms, show us gyms how to do it. So long that. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, yeah, those beings, those beings cry, they, they, they hurt, they, they're angry. Um, that, I, yeah, that's, that's something that, that actually my heart just went down too. It's, it's just, it's very sad. Yeah, it's very do, sad. do you consent, Solomon, that we do this now? Yes, I believe that we can do this now. Mm -hmm. um, okay. She will do this and um, I'll hold space. Yeah, will you give permission? <laughs> you know, it's your mess, not mine. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you know, we can I'm do this just... now. Let's let's clear them up and and uh, yeah, that would, if you yeah, that's. So we asked, you know, on the biggest and most divine help, you know, absolute source, and then delegations, you know, from the highest, most divine, you know, outranking Anunnaki and others, you know, big time. Mm -hmm. It's a Milky Way galaxy, of course, Mother Gaia, you know, and all the other beings that are involved here as gardeners of this sphere. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the temple of Jerusalem, you know, there was a lot of, let's say, um, coercion done, you know, through programs, through jinns, and uh, lots of beings stuck now. And, you know, we like to have them, you know, brought salvations. You know, we ask that they be brought to the Arcturian, Lafuning, and Ascension temples or other facilities that are especially, you know, designed, you know, for the highest purpose. That do not bring them into false light heavens or other bondage, you know, bring them to the highest point, you know, for their soul. You know? Um, liberation, mukti, whatever you want to call it. 
Mm -hmm. so of course, we ask for the mercy of absolute source. You know, who can work off this karma? Mm -hmm. So we ask that the, all these beings stop now, be reunited with their lost loved ones. Amen. 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 And then shown, you know, why this lifetime was chosen, you know, of slavery. Mm -hmm. Um, before incarnation. Was it chosen? Was it due to which karma? You know, was it volunteered for as a lesson? Or was it, you know, uh, just the trickery of the dark side of sabotage? Show them. Then show them what help happens when they do forgiveness. Mm -hmm. What happens to them, how it affects the timeline when they hold on to revenge. Show them that forgiveness is that loss of karma. Mm -hmm. And that they don't have to incarnate and learn those lessons anymore. Show them that. Mm -hmm. Now we ask for a big influx of love and light of source. Please help him. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Solomon, you want to apologize to them for all their suffering? Then go right ahead. You can do it in your mind. You know, they're all telepathic, as you know. So. Mm. And as they're leaving, you know, you ask the heavenly host, you know, to clear all the dark, oh, the attachments to them, the jinns, you know, attached to them, the spells, curses, vows, the contracts, you know, the darkness, the dark portals, you know, the barbs, hooks, wires, you know, reverse crowns, you know, um, skull caps, you know, whatever it is, alchemic attachments. Mm -hmm. Final, move on, clear on, continue to finish. Um, Spells and curses either way. Oh, then clear also the dark portals that we created and the dark energies in these holy grounds in this portal cell. Mm -hmm. you know, please pull out all you know the dark energy entities and artifacts out. You know, make them just clear them, just clear them, clear them, or turn them into positive vibrations. You know, replace dark portals with light portals if necessary, and maintain them. Um, um, um. All right, so let's see how we're doing here. Um, how many are still left? Are there any left of the slaves, so-called slaves? Any programs left on them? I think we're pretty good for right now. You know, the major thing has been lifted. All right, um, go ahead, show us how to clear them. Yeah, it's it's cool. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That was a hard thing. Right here. Wow. Thank you, Wolfgang. It's gonna kick in soon. <laughs> it's just gonna be good. Ooh. Oh, that was exhilarating. There's gratitude coming down soon, yeah. It's very, very that's very, very big. Mm, yeah, it's coming in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's ooh, beautiful feeling. Hmm. Just work it. Do you have any more questions for me? Well, how do you clear gyms? Please explain okay. to us and our clients and the healers. You know, and we just try to lift a little burden here. Yeah. <laughs> Okie doke. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the Solomon. That's the Solomon. So, as a healer, once you pick up on Jin, you will ask for protection first. You always have to be protected from Jin because it will attach to you as quickly as a demonic will and as quickly as a gray will. Okay, um, one thing you can do, um, recite your prayers that you do to protect yourself um, and make sure that you're shielded. And make sure that you're connected to source and make sure you're connected to Mother Earth. Always, always, because Jin is something that once it gets on you, it's hard to get off because it's just it's it's 
it's like a shapeshifter. It'll shapeshift everywhere. It just moves and moves and all over and just yucky, yucky, yucky. And it can go in the room and it goes everywhere. So once you have done that and um, you're working with your client or you're working with anybody that you're working with, number one, check to see if the person has discarnate. Scarna is one of the number one things that can bring in negative entities because discarnate has it because they may have had it when they died. Mm -hmm. They may have had it or picked it up through the lower astral plane. Mm -hmm. No matter what they've been through, whatever it's been through or the discarnate, um, you know, earthbound spirit. It's, you know, people call them diff call it different things, spirit, ghosts, whatever it is. Um, if it's a past life ghost, if it's if it's a past life spirit, if it's a past life discarnate, find out about that and then check the discarnate to see if the discarnate has any negative entities on it, including all of the negative beings, including reptilians, Anunnaki, Alpha Draconian. Check to see if greys are there because they can be attached to the discarnate because we know how they go through time and, and past lives. Also, Check to see if the discarnate has any demonic or satanic energy. Because we're looking at the gym. Satanic energy is a little different than demonic energy as it works on a different level of the heart chakra. It'll attack the heart where demonic will attack the entire body. They work wonderfully together. Jinn will play tag with both of them. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So check to see if the discarnate has the negative energies on them or the negative entities on them. There are different types of negative entities that come through. Check everything, clear the discarnate, and then we deal with gin. So if the gin is on the discarnate, it's the same procedure that, if it, it, that it is if it's on your property or on yourself. Number one, you find out that, okay, there's gin energy. Not everybody has it, as we know that. Gin energy is something that you just should check for because it's there. Um, it's always there. It can be there. It's one of those things. If you are a healer, um, check to see. You know, you have, you have ways of checking. You probably have a list of what you go through. We'll add that on there, of course, because just add it on. <clears throat> and then... Once you have found the gin energy, see what level of power it's at. See what level of the totem pole it's on. Is it the full totem pole or, or is it just in beginning stages? If it's in the middle stages or if it's working to be a full blown entity, which would be called a gin sinti, Sikitulo Palahe, which is Egyptian for I am a demon. Sikatula Palahote. You don't have to say this because that's something that is known through, you know, that's just what it's called. Um, you don't have to know that language. You don't have to know a different language to do it. Sukatala Palahote is also Hebrew because Egyptian and Hebrew have the same dialect same with, yeah. with their languages. So, you find out that jinn is there. It's a negative demon. Okay, where did it come from? What level is it? So you can ask your pendulum, which is a good tool source. I believe Wolfgang has a video out there about how to use a pendulum. It's on his website because I've looked at his website several times um, on how to use a pendulum and get comfortable with your pendulum of your yeses and nos and maybes. And also, um, I believe Percentages. Wolfgang... Yeah, Wolfgang has a handout on his, um, I believe on his website that you can print out. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So get one of those if you can. Again, this is in my way of saying it. Um, so once you have found the gin and you've asked your pendulum exactly what level it is, or you've asked your heart and you, you're like, wow, this is huge. This is feeling huge. Let, let me ask. What percentage of this is a full-blown entity? What percentage of this has become a spirit? If it's very small, it's still the same way as getting rid of the entity or the spirit. 
the entity is a little bit different than the spirit because the entity would be the demonic entity and the jinn would be the spirit. The program. Program. It's piggybacked. Okay. Right. Then if you check and you find a gray alien there, a gray being, check for that too. Always check for grays. Always check for reptilian, Anunnaki, Alpha Draconian, all of them. And check to see are there any negative beings that i'm missing because your pendulum will say yes or it'll say no okay what negative being am i missing okay well let's you probably have them all but let's you, you gotta you gotta figure out what is feeding off of this gin grays love it because they use the demonics a lot so you find out you you have all this and you find out all this is there now check to see if grays are there once you find out a gray is there and you've had yourself cleared, you've had, that means you, you've had yourself cleared, you've cleared the discarnate, you've sent the discarnates into the light or however you do that, then <clears throat> the person is still having negative energies on them. You find jinn, you find a gray, and you find a demonic. You may find a satanic too, okay? The first thing you would get rid of would be the satanic satanic entity needs to go first after that remove the gray it's a step-by-step -step procedure mm -hmm. because the satanic and the gray are feeding off the gin and the demonic so get rid of those get rid of all of those quickly get them get them gone don't let them hide don't let them do anything you get rid of them quickly because they're there and they will cause pain yeah yeah they're distracted so you Is satanic there? first then the grace and then who next then once you found that trap the demonic entity remove the cords always trap the demonic entity and send it to source uncord it from the person or you, wherever, whatever you're doing, uncord it, get the demonic out of there. However you do it. There are prayers to do it, and Wolfgang is wonderful, wonderful. There, there are ways to do that. But to, the procedure is, is you want to isolate the jinn because the jinn is a spirit. The jinn is the magic. The jinn performs magic. The jinn is very smart. The jinn does have a conscious state. The jinn is thinking, okay, that's gone and that's gone. What am I going to do now? So then if you think of it like a genie in a bottle, you want to trap the gin like a genie in a bottle. You want to trap that gin and you will trap it with spirit, with great spirit, with source, ultimate source. You will say, for instance, I call upon the great spirit, which that is Dallas's tradition. It's I'm a shaman. I call upon the great spirit. Please come down and I would like for you to trap the gin in a box of light. And I would like for you to remove all cords and all thought process and all thought processes that it has given to my wonderful person that I'm with, given to whoever you're working with, name them to the person. And then trap that and uncord it. So trap it, take away the thought processes, take away the things that it's doing to that person all in that box. And then you will take that box, uncord it, and then you uncord everything and, and send to, to get it out of here. To source. And then after that, check for gen cords and gen energy. Check for things that, like the darkness in, in the... Uh, luminous body and in, in the in the in the the chakras and the the what you work with the energy body check for that use your hands check for it does this feel right does this feel right okay is there more than one gin is there more than one you know just know that because they'll work together there might be backup systems right and many times for curses and spells you know they're put in backups so when this cleared you know there are five others raising their heads so there are probably also backup systems for gins is that correct Next yes, there are back, backup systems, mm -hmm. um, and you can also state those in your prayers of your backup system, okay. of course. 
um, a great backup system is to know that you have the source energy running through you and that you are using source energy that's running through your client and source energy is going to do this. Source energy will provide. You just have to remember that there are levels of, of how gin work. There are levels and know to remove everything and then isolate the gin because you, you don't want to just isolate the gin and all that other stuff is here because there could be pull something in. It's like get that gin because it's a different kind of energy. It has its own conscious mind. So the gin is the last thing that you hunt. You know, you, you strip off everything else, you know, before you get to the gin there. Mm -hmm. you know, it strip seems like everything that, that you're picking up on, black magic, all of it, strip it and then get the gin. Get it all to where it's basically sitting there by itself. That's I mean, our ancestors, you know, they're crawling with gin. You know, I mean, most people are crawling with gin, I would say. You know, most magicians you know, are crawling with gin. That's a, a lot of the work, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it has yeah, to be it's, done. It's, it's a know? procedure. It's, it's just, it's, it's like Sol Solomon will say, and this is me, Dallas, because I'm not Solomon. Solomon will say, I have a procedure how to do this. Mm -hmm. For instance, I walk my property. I live in a high mountain valley. There's a high energy and a high level of things come in. And he can take me and walk my property because it's 40 acres. And there's a process. He's like, okay, we're going to go to this portal first. We're going to go to this one second. We're going to go to this one third. Now there's stuff outside of my property that I'm not going to clear mm -hmm. because it's not my property. I'm going to protect my property, just like I'm going to protect my loved ones. So I can walk through my yard and I'm sitting here going, okay, do I call Wolfgang? Do I do this myself? <laughs> you know, because because I'm not afraid to have help. Because if you, you know, collaboration is beautiful when you're working with energies. And um, so Solomon comes in and I just hear, Solomon is here and I'm like, okay, what are we clearing? Okay, it's time. And so I start putting protections on. I get my mesa and, you know, it's, I, I've, I've done a wonderful way of, and through Solomon, of how to cloak my energy when I'm working on things that are negative. Um, you know, so he's a wonderful, wonderful guide. He's 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 wonderful guide, and, and that's that's his job, and he he comes through. So, um, and he's he does it from my All experience. Right. Yeah, yeah, so, so <laughs> this might be part of the redemption, I guess. <laughs> so is he willing to help heal us? With said gene problems? Yeah, he's willing. He's a guy. Yeah, I, I think that he's yeah. going to work off yeah, his karma like that, right? Is yeah, that right, it's, Solomon? Yeah, it's, he's a healer. He's he's a, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll let him speak on that. He, um, I would love to help people because that is what I do. I'm not just here for Dallas. I'm not just here for Wolfgang. I'm here for everyone because I'm a guide, and I am an angel. So. You know, angel, guide, whatever, you know, there's different ways we call that, but there are source energies and we're here to help. And so if somebody wants my help, call upon Solomon. I call upon Solomon. Can you help me? Right. And just listen, feel. Mm -hmm. Because every, you know, your your helpers, as you have, as Archangel Michael or Archangel Raphael or Mother Mary or whoever you're working with, you know, it's it's a different energy. There's loving energies come in. It's like, whoa, that's a little different. Oh, good. And then they say, is this someone? Check your pendulum. If it says yes, good. then I'm there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check your pendulum. <laughs> so do you have some light language, you know, that Solomon or somebody else wants to bring through to clear, um, let's say, um, you know, uh, what's this gins from us? Or does Hathor want to come through? What do you want to do now? Right now, I'm feeling Goddess Hathor. She does a lot of light language. Like I mentioned in the earlier video, I work with Goddess Hathor. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. it works through me. Mm -hmm. I That's a good thing. Um, I think, I think Solomon first. Mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you so much. You're welcome all. And again, call on me because there are ways that you can 
and put Walk you to work. Way. Don't worry. <laughs> it's serious and love. That's what we do. That's, that's, that's our main goal. That's our little thing's good at that. I put okay. you to work, yes. <laughs> so, here we go, Solomon. Thank you so much. Namaste. Goddess Hathor is here. She would like to say thank you for having me. She is a very beautiful, beautiful goddess. And now she's going to speak. And she's going to use some light language. If you notice, my hands have been doing a lot of this. I use a lot of my hands and things. Light language is very beautiful. It comes from the heavens above. This is Goddess Hathor speaking. And light language is something that you can do with your hands. You move your energy very wonderfully. You move it through your chakras. And you move it through every vein in your body. Because the love of God is always the love of your heart. So we have blood that runs through our veins and we run the light language through it with God or source energy, great spirit, with everyone that you love that is the ultimate source of all. We start at the crown. We go higher than the crown. We go up and we go up and we connect to the heavens above. We run that energy and light energy comes down through us. And as it starts to come through us, always have the intention that it's going to clear my body, including my physical body. Light language is beautiful. I have a certain way of saying thank you with my hands. My hands say thank you always because I run light language always. And I will always be here for somebody who needs me. The jinn cannot live in love. So let's do a healing on the people who have jinn. Past, present, past life, future. Let's just do it and see what happens. Because in my experience, if you trust and you feel and you feel my energy because it is the most beautiful energy, because it is source. Akusum Malohote. Hale Gunai Silene O My Sikitai. Molo holo se lai sumoi se na la he lai oi kana se lai mala se. That was a prayer in Egyptian that I sing all the time that I put on anybody who has jinn because it's full of love. Mola se lai. I love my life. I love my heart. And I'm going to cry now because it is the most beautiful thing to feel your heart. And the jinn can't live in love. Just remember that. Because we are all love. And we know it is wonderful. It is beautiful to know that you have a goddess that you can call upon. To help you use your pendulum. Because your pendulum will not lie if it's in love. Which means, I love you, Wolfgang. I love everyone. And I love the chance to speak. Because sometimes people just need to feel the love. And in music, love is in music too. Trust your heart. And trust your soul. And trust that you know when you have jinn. Because when you do, you can't feel the love. Because your heart is closed. So we are going to protect one more thing. Mikisite, Sulai, Mihalakatu, 
mahau shu chu sama kitilai semalo sele kitri selo potofu ni kisil maha selakatu me sele tushomo kalasu. Namaste. That is a healing prayer for everyone. And it should be coming in now, you'll feel it. Ah, yes. We receiving the healing be cleared. Gives me goosebumps. Mm-hmm. Beautiful yes. energy. Mm-hmm. Yes, that yeah, and Jin that is still with us. Mm, that are impeding our spiritual advancement be cleared. Mm, and also the camouflage that's hiding them be cleared. So they become very, very visible. Gone. Mm. Mm. <laughs> then there's always a delay of a couple of seconds. Yeah. yeah. Mm. There are, let me see, are there tons of gin overlays of our heart? Yeah, we like to give permission to have them cleared, you know, on all dimensions and all realities. Express permission. Mm-hmm. Feel the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just it's everything. Mm. Mm-hmm. And also ask for my family members, and you ask for your family members, and you know, whoever listens to this, I can ask for their family members, because we get affected by their crap too, so we have a right to ask for it. Amen. Um, amen. amen. Mm-hmm. And because we also, you know, get the crap from our ancestors, you know, you have to suffer your father's sins, you know, Bible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we can speak for them, and so we ask that their jinn attachments, you know, also be cleared. You know, whatever jinn they send out or receive, you know, or get attached to both sides of the fence. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Solomon, if you like to help out, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, keep you busy. <laughs> you know, I'm here. Yeah, We're so in this session with you. I'm still here, and I will help. I'm Stop. helping. <laughs> We're all helping. Oh yeah, and there's probably resentment also still in the whatever is left from the temple in all the structures around. Yeah, we like to have that clear too. You know, and all the dark energy stored in the wall and all that, you know, that doesn't, that it doesn't, oh, God, that hurts. Mm-hmm. That it doesn't pollute, you know, the holy place anymore. It's a vortex. We like to have that squeaky clean, pretty please. So we ask for a cleansing of all those thought forms that got stuck into the wall and pollute everything. Now, um, and, um, and all the pain, suffering, dark portals, please clear. We need the mercy of source on this here. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, all the attachment that happened there too. You know, there was probably some sabotage. Also in other holy places, you know, there's this lingering there. Like they have that clear too. Throughout the timelines, parallel existences. Um, um, um. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, don't go driving afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Eat mm-hmm. some. Eat some. If you get a headache, drink more water. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough for now, I think. Oh, yeah, that's just in that needs integration big time. Mm-hmm. Big time, big time, big time. We ask for all the beings that can help with this, mm-hmm. whether it's our ET brothers of love and light, you know, our subterranean brothers of love and light, whatever is approved by our high selves, 
and for the highest good, you know, we give permission, you know, to assist in this transformation. Um, 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 you know, all the ones working through us, you know, all the way up to source. Um, we give permission. You know, this can be the <laughs> <laughs> you know, they ask for it, you know, they give it, you know, we calling in the shots, you know, they provide the fixings. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, you know, a lot get purified and updated, you know, we ask for updates now, you know, so that more light, more light codes can come in now, filling the places that have been, you know, where there was darkness. So we like to have them filled, you know, with the light codes of the souls of those beings that got purified. You know, whether these are temples, stones, humans, animals, you know, sub-personalities. You know, we like to have them updated now and healed throughout all time. Um, um, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and we ask source to provide the fixings. <laughs> We provide the intent. And you know, whoever's listened to this, yeah, please agree to this if you want to, you know, ask for it. Give your amen, give your consent. And of course, we always ask that everything that happens here is for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benign outcomes. You know, that's the big thing, this genies having wishes, you know, it always goes sideways. Well, <laughs> that is the antidote, you know, though I wouldn't accept any wishes from genies, you know, it's not going to be healthy for you, let me put it like that, you know, you may end up with a thousand dollars a day cope habit or something like this when you get the money, you know, so nothing good comes from that, be aware of it. Yeah, so we like for updates, integration, uh-huh. Um, of our energies, you know, throughout all the timelines, parallel timelines, ancestors, the whole nine yards. Um, um, um. And we are so grateful, you know, for the creation to support us here yeah, at this time, you know, for, for all the celestials to come together, also the subterraneans. Let's do some shout outs to the subterraneans. Heaven energy into the earth. Let's play around. Feel the love coming back. Hmm. And there are, I think there's technology that creates the synthetic technology from the grace and other races, you know, um, this is health secret from humanity. And we're absolutely not agreeing with this because it's health secret, you know, so you can't say, yeah, humanity, you're allowed this. No bullshit. You know, they kill people for that, you know, bullshit. So, you know, we asked for the highest divine justice to come and take those facilities out or use it at least to raise the vibration, you know, use them for the good. If you can use it for harm, you can use it for good. So we ask that they be reused now. Mm -hmm. and go through the proper channels, you know, that can get done swiftly. Amen, amen, amen. And of course, complete protection and anonymity for us. Amen. No backlash, no revenge. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, they're, they're just shaking it around here. Yes, I felt it big. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, let's ask for the Shiva energy to come in, you know, but do it nicely. Make it funny. <laughs> yeah, it's always easier with funny. Oh, the big heart pain is clearing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is deep pain, you know, in all of creation here on Earth, you know, from these oh, 
thousands of years of jinn piling up on each other, you know, whether it's a Babylonian money curse, you know, or slave curses, sex curses, spells, you know, all these are thought forms, all these different types of jinns, you know, especially the one that were done by Anunnaki, you know, the, the Draco and Grace, like they have clear, plus the dark magicians, you know, <coughs> even from our own lifetimes and ancestors, oh, there's a lot of crap. And then clear, 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 clear. If you ask for forgiveness, um, um, um. and mercy. We need mercy, 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 mercy. This cannot be worked off karmically. I don't think so. So we need really mercy from source. Trouble or rasa kind of a thingy. Yes, Hathu, Goddess Hathu. So, is there anything else that we haven't covered yet or that she would like to add or clear? Oh, clearing of the pyramids. Are there dark jinns still on the pyramids and the other temples? Especially, let's start with her temple, Hathu temple. Are there dark jinns there? There are several dark jinn there. If you would like to do a clearing on it, we would be very appreciative. All right, well, let's ask Solomon. <laughs> Solomon would like to tell you, Wolfgang, that the temples in Egypt are covered in jinn. Goddess Hathor can help also clear it because she's a goddess. Yeah, um, right. So, <laughs> so if you would like, she would like to um, help you with that. And she would like for you to um continue clearing the jinn because there's jinn everywhere and the temples in egypt are covered in jinn because of all of the everything we spoke with earlier the temple of the hathor the dendera temple is full of jinn so we can clear that as well um the tombs underneath are full of jinn mm -hmm. um, there's jinn in in, a, in all of egypt so we can do a clearing of all of Egypt if you like, and I'll let her speak on that real quickly. The jinn in Egypt, this is Goddess Hathor, the jinn in Egypt have been there for billions of years. I mean, just forever and ever and ever. The temple of the Hathor is a very beautiful place. It has been tainted with jinn for many, 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 many centuries. Um, in my experience of running my energy through the temple, is all of love we remove the jinn always but the thing with the jinn is it is brought back by humanity because humanity has a lot of hate and the hate for the temples is very big in in egypt um we can speak about that but i know that you and i have spoke earlier that we were going to do a different session on you know egypt and how um the things i i can tell you about egypt Egypt is the most is the most beautiful place in the world to me because it's my Egypt. It's it's Egypt. <laughs> Your project, yeah. Yeah, and so. And it uh, wasn't a desert before, right? No, it was a, it was a very plush place. It was very green. It was very beautiful. There was lakes. There was rivers. There was food and and um, just lovely, lovely, lovely terrain and mountains. And now it's 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 a little bit different and. Um, clearing the temples would be wonderful, and we would sure love for you to do that anytime you wish, because Jen is Jen. As far as we know, it can come and people can bring it. Um, other than that, it's well. Let's have a I question here. You know? So, I mean, you are a, a goddess. You know, and you can clear gin, though your temples are infested with gin. You know, so there seems to be a contradiction. I and mean, anybody here, they will probably raise some questions. You know, so why is this? Do you need us humans as an interloper, you know, to call in the shots, so to say, you know, to use our free will to have it cleared? Or what is the issue here? The, the role of 
of being me. Um, and the energy that I am, because it is, of course, goddess Isis as well. It's an aspect of goddess Isis, and there are Egyptian goddesses and gods. We clear the jinn, and we clear it when we are asked upon to clear it, because people have their own free will. Mm. So if we clear, it is because somebody asked us to come in and clear it. So we have to ask. You know, we have to call it's, in the shots. It's something that um, I would explain it as universal law because of free will. We can clear it and we can keep clearing it and we can put protections on it as well. So we have done a lot. People have asked, even Dallas has asked to clear the gin, clear everything because of the temple of the goddesses. The temple of the goddesses are a beautiful, beautiful place to be. The temple of Dendera is, is gorgeous. So people bring jinn in through times in history. So we can come in and clear, we can protect it. We just have to ask to be do, to do it. All right, okay, now I, that's the same problem with ghosts. You know, they're probably also dumping tons of ghosts there. And you know, there are lots of predators there, you know, and trying to attach and riding on the tourists that are coming there, you know, taking their light, etc. All right, so we ask that uh, be, you know, like something like a, an airport or train station be established and all those temples, you know, where the jinn that come in there, you know, automatically get sucked up, you know, and brought to where was this creator, you know, or some love boxes, wherever they can be transmuted. I would say creator, you know, so they can be recycled into some positive, you know, so we give permission to source, we give permission to you, you know, so that all the um, temples associated with you, you know, also with Isis, you know, be cleared now. Um, 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 you know, I think I have been a pharaoh in past lifetime, so I have certain rights as that too. You know, so for my incarnations, you know, I ask that all those jinns that were, you know, put onto me and our kingdoms, you know, be all cleared. You know, I have the right, I ask for it. You know, I ask the supreme, absolutely supreme source to assist everybody else in this endeavor. Um, um, um. And also any jinn that attached to Taurus, you know, and riding on Taurus and spreading like cancer all over, we like to have clear too, you know, back in time too. Um, um, um. Mm -hmm. We have five second delay, right? Yeah. Ooh, yes. Mm -hmm. Have there been automatic, um, you know, um, stations, upliftment temples, you know, for jinn and ghosts erected that take care of the tourists? Good. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important. It is very important. This mm -hmm. is still about to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Also, we have been, um, you know, Dallas and me, we have been incarnated as druids, you know, gatekeepers to all kinds of portals and so on. You know, holy places, you know, many lifetimes. So we have the right, you know, to call in also, you know, Solomon to clear the jinn, you know, yeah. then have attached there. So please, <laughs> yes, Lord Solomon. Please be comfortable with, with me, Goddess Hathor. Please, please be comfortable and ask your pendulum. Ask if it's okay. Ask oh, if it's is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. You know, it's on Solomon, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's something that we enjoy enjoy doing, and we're very blessed to come in, and 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 we we're thankful to to be able to do that. I shouldn't feel guilty putting you to work. In other words, right? No, I, I mean I I put you to work. There's you know, so much to be done. And and feel if that's where your heart is, and and you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, with with your viewers and and people that we're gonna we're gonna contact. Oh yeah, gins on our public uh, relations, you know, gins on our um, YouTube programs, you know, whatever we're putting out. I think it's, you know, also crawling with stuff, mm -hmm. also from past lifetimes, you know, whatever teachings we have, probably many of them have been sabotaged by entities and gin attachments. 
Oh yeah, and we probably also put gins when we were working on the dark side, you know, and to others. I mean, I did for sure, you know, believe me. I've been badass, you know, so we like to have those also cleared, you know, whatever gin abuse we and our ancestors did, you know, we give permission to have those cleared now. Um, um, and, um, viewers, please agree to this too, if you want to. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> 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 and yeah, so you know, we also have been rulers, you know, like big wigs, so to say, you know, yielding a lot of power, you know, as sorcerers, healers, you know, magicians, and so on. And probably have been, you know, attacked and stacked, you know, with gems too. So all those aspects of power, you know, that maybe got corrupted or dragged down by jinn, yeah, we like to have those clear too, you know, send those jinn to the um, absolute source, you know, to be transmuted. And then those that did this, that abusing jinn, they may have to be taken to the courts of divine justice so they don't keep maintaining those habits and, you know, keep polluting the environment. Um, um, um. Mm -hmm. We're on a roll here. <laughs> right. And so I'm not sure whether I covered holy places, but any places where two or three ley lines meet, <laughs> whether inflowing or upflowing, you know, and they're polluted with jinns, you know, and through sacrifices, also dark portals, spells, curses, and, you know, entities, ghosts, discarnates. We like to have those clear too. Um, um, um. Oh, yeah, and then the battlefields, too. <laughs> I mean, that's, well, source can help, you know, uh, infinity. Hmm. Hmm. And so, yeah, we have those battlefields right now, you know, and we know about the ones above ground, at least about some of them, you know, and there's a lot of stuff going underground too, you know, we like to have all these gins there attached to this or causing this cleared, you know, also the machines that, again, you know, create synthetic gins. Mm -hmm. We like to have those cleared. You know, there are different spaces. You guys know where they are. I don't want to mention this here, but you got permission. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, if, if you can ask for it, also the ones on Saturn, you know, um, not wanted, not desired, you know, is also kept secret, you know, so we don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they're by divine law there. Mm -hmm. Probably tons of, you know, affecting, um, you know, free will, most likely. So we like to have that whole thing brought to the highest courts of divine justice, you know, and then clear the gin, clear the machines, clear all the other entities and energies around them, send them back to source if necessary or to other places where they will be welcome and of service to source. Um, and clear the heart pain there, mm -hmm. all the sorrow, mm -hmm. and also any assassins mm -hmm. and other dark guardians, you know, take them to the courts of divine justice or take them to source, whatever is most efficient. And also clear all their demonic, satanic and other dark attachments. Mm -hmm. and jinns um, and other weapons, other astros. Um, um, um. Yep. And it's clear the anger too, the anger jinns, yeah, and the liver meridian jinns, also called, what's this, the alconic attachments, you know, by the Essenes, clear that stuff too, those type of gyms, and their attachments, 
and cords and backup systems, spores, eggs, whatever backup system they have, clear, 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 clear on all levels, all timelines, all levels of creations. Um, um, um. It's a clear any contracts, you know, that would allow them to attach to us with a self-punishment martyr, you know, or other contracts, you know, um, that should be all renegotiated by our highest self. Um, also any gene attachments to our spirit guides, high selves, you know, male, female, Christos, you know, wherever they got the little claws in there. We ask for healing for them too. Um, um, and then updates. Mm -hmm. All right, this should be enough here. I wouldn't wear anybody out. You know, this is Wolfgang, or oh, working through Wolfgang. <laughs> You're a little intense, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Coming like a needle, going out like a plow. <laughs> we'll get them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so, you know, we thank Hathor and Isis and, of course, Solomon. You know. Well, I hope Solomon doesn't regret him. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing, going, no. Yeah. And I really appreciate your honesty, you know, <laughs> you know, like in that meeting, yeah, you slaved them out, you know, yeah, that makes sense, you know. Now, um, you know, I heard about this iron ring that you had, you know, so first of all, gin like iron? No, right? No. Mm -hmm. So is it a good idea, you know, to have one of those big iron cast pots or frying pans under your bed? Are you asking Solomon or Goddess Hathor? Well, uh, maybe they have different of opinion. Let's <laughs> do a quiz here. Oh, Jen hates, 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 this is solemn. Jen hates, hates, hates iron. So does it dark, dark, dark. Put it under your bed. Put a lot of it under your bed. Put several of those cast under your bed, those cast iron skillets under mm. your bed. You can put them under your um if you have flat iron, put it under your couches. You know, there's there's flat sheets of iron. Put it under your couches. Put it on your property. Put it on if you're in a high energy place. Put it put it places that the iron can be of use. Um, but yes, how about, you, copper? Yeah. how about copper? Copper is a wonderful thing to block gin. Copper is also wonderful to block the demonics, and of course all the dark. <laughs> if, if, if you have copper. Put it under it, under there with it. You'll you'll feel the difference. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm doing this already, honey. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, so anybody listening to this, you know, if you have extra cables, yes, you know, extra cables. You know, everybody has. You know, make nice loops. You know, number eight rolls, whatever you get inspired under your mattress. You know, beautiful. Okay. We'll go and see what's got us happen. All right, now about, you know, although, sorry, this was. Let's see what Goddess Hathor says. She says, yes, we used to use a lot in Egypt. We have a lot of iron, iron, cast iron, of cast iron pots to cook in. So, yes, I completely agree with metals. I agree with copper. I agree with iron. They are very, very good at blocking negative energies. Um, Yes, and it just makes me smile because people don't realize in, in this today, today this, this, this earth has so much metal that you can use to block negative energies. And we just so, yeah. smile like a silly play. It's please. <laughs> yeah, we need it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they don't like that. Mm -hmm. They learn like those metals. How about things like certain vegetables or food, like garlic? You know, are there foods that uh, repel them, and are there foods that you know attract them? There's only one thing that repels gin, and it is garlic. Garlic is one. You can put it under there. Put it under your bed. Put it by your bed. Um, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Get it, get it in your body. Garlic is a wonderful thing to keep away negative energies. This mm -hmm. is from. Mm -hmm. Now, how about, you know, amulets, you know, so, um, you know, there are certain people that say, um, you know, if you, you know, run a, a, like a gin or like a 
a demon, you know, into an Ouroboros or in a ring, you know, they keep just, you know, going in a circle, so to say. You know, is this true? Or are there certain, you know, vessels that should be cast into, or just to source? What does in, in both of you say? But is Hathor is going to speak on this one. She says, an amulet is a wonderful thing to wear. It's the intention of the amulet. It's something that you can put in, um, in your daily life. Put it, you can have them on your neck, you can have them anywhere, and it's always source energy. It's the ultimate source of all. Um, you have the intentions of that amulet, then the intentions is, is wonderful, wonderful. To basically put the intention on the amulet to make it a portal for source energy. That would do yes, it, right? Do it, do it. Exactly. Like you pick up your amulet as this pendulum, you have that intention. Yeah, that intention of what you want that to be. So just put it in there. We it's it's a very long history of amulets. We do Mother Earth is full of for past lives, parallel lives, everything you can imagine. Thank you. So did you want to bring in some more light language, you know, to clear everything up? You know, we cleared a lot, and so there's a lot of dust, you know, broken pieces of thought forms and emotions probably around. You know. we'll do that, yes. Okay, this is going to be also with Isis, because we're going to use her energy as well. Okay, we'll use Isis and myself. And we will use light language um, and the power of source, the love of source, the ultimate source of all. And it's going to be in a different language. And then I will explain what I said afterwards briefly because it's going to it's going to come in our language. Goddess Isis is here. She is always here with me. She's an as I, she's an aspect of me. I'm an aspect of her. So. We know she has those beautiful wings, so picture Isis. She is a protector. Oh, she is beautiful. She has those wings for a reason. She protects and she protects. Call in Isis to protect you and your family. Call in Isis to protect your job, your love, your food. Call in Isis to clear the energy with her wings. Call in Isis to use the love of source because she is a protector. She loves to protect. She loves protection so much as I do because we do protect. And she also went into the temples as you were clearing, clearing and clearing and clearing. So we as goddesses will go in there and clear and clear and clear. Her wings are everywhere. They're so big that they can envelop every temple in Egypt. So here we go. Solo for Mashile Hele Kitai, Missy, Koto Mahala Hits in Malakitilo, Missakana, Lehete, Molo, Simmeke, Tusu, Chitapa, Lakama, Sute, 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 Polakisama, Leke, Sihu, Mosketiknala, Tilakshuna, Silla Kavala Casina Bala. Sina Pushikta, Sila Kopa Shiklata, Sala Hitsamala Tata, Mokutsama, Le Shu. So Malakate Laha Silo Pusuno Mesikite, Sela Hatana, Nikisunum Polokusa. Le kuse le kuse la poto polo meketa sulo shinakisu le kumalakse lo chumalakisu nakasela kete mahala chula sa shu Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we ask the spirit guides and high self and absolute source to and 
we turn to and reintegrate into our soul, all the soul fragments that can come back now, that can be reintegrated, that were trapped and stranded before. Please reintegrate them. Um, and once reintegrated and synergized, update them with the latest and best divine blueprints in divine codes, you know, as permitted by our own high selves. Mm -hmm. And then um, up and then upload us, you know, to the highest, most beneficial energy levels for ourselves. And then seal us and protect us with the love and light of source, so it cannot be manipulated, stolen, or um, you know, uh, yeah. Was stolen in any way. Um, um, um. Mm -hmm. Well, um, if you watch this, you know, well, congratulations and probably a lot of purification. Take it easy, drink a lot of water. If you run into problems, you know, contact us, you know, information will be below, you know, for any help. Also, you know, contact information for Dallas, you know, will be there. And, um, you know, use it as much as you can in your own healing. You know, it's about time, you know, that this be taken care of. So, again, all those speakers that came and helped, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Give us a thumbs up, you know, share your experiences. You know, some of you, it may blow your doors off, you know, <laughs> your doors of perception, maybe. <laughs> You know, just share, you know, just let us know and I read, you know, the comments and if you ask intelligence questions, you know, I will answer them or Dallas will answer them. You know, this is a tribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Wolfgang. Namaste.